captains and fellow foxes! Today I'll be watching the version 6.7 Honkai Impact 3rd trailer, String Stars. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and let's get started! Version 6.7 String Stars. That's the holy salt city, right? The one from the previous trailer? Who is that? It's Shigure Kira! I just realized it was her in the previous trailer. <laughs> I definitely want to get her from the shop. Lone Tower. Perfect performance. Selenic Ripples. Ooh. That was a cool outfit. Wow, that one's pretty. Minus Selection. Oh, there's more. Wait, who was that? Okay, okay, let me go back. First of all, their hand is super tiny, but anyways. <laughs> They're looking at the moon, you know, planet? Is it the planet that they're all in? Now that I think about it, is Honkai in fact they're set, in, set on Earth? I, I assume it is, I, I don't know if they call it Earth though. I wonder who this is. Is it the same person as her? They both have short hair. Now that I look at her a little bit more. Is she... What's the word? Is she affected by quantum or something? It kind of reminds me of... That one female that appeared in the Duranda visual novel. Who apparently has like a weird way of explaining things like she would take a very long time to explain things in a very roundabout way and kind of has a similar look with the blue thing on the side of her face i believe it was on the side of her face and she i, I believe she had like ear like cat ears not maybe not cat ears but oh, i can't remember her name but she appeared and was the Vice Commander for uh, Shakespeare in the Duranar visual novel. Ah, I wish I could remember her name. If you know her name, please let me know down below because I know multiple people have said it many times and when I read it, I didn't remember her name but for some reason right now, I just can't remember. Hmm. But it seems like something's happening to, I believe, is it Holy Salt City? And is everything crumbling down or something? This tower appeared in the previous trailer when they showed that area, I guess. And then... What are these things in the back? Are they Honkai monsters? Maybe not. Oh, but seems like someone was reaching out. Yeah, just earlier with the hand. It seems like someone was reaching out to her, so I wonder if it's someone that either trusts her or believes in her goodness, assuming that she's the villain in this arc. And they feel betrayed, and then she is doing her own little thing. And I wonder how Zeal is gonna come into play here. But it seems like she's battling against her, whoever she is. And then I'm 
pretty sure maybe this person has something to do with this quantum affected lady. I don't know if that is quantum affection or infliction or whatever it's called. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> Let me know what your thoughts are. Or maybe if you can give me hints. Just don't outright spoil. But that was a lot more interesting than I thought. I thought that maybe once, you know, Kiana's gone, the story might not be as interesting. But it seems like it's turning into... I guess the proper word for it. The one where multiple people are protagonists. And since... May, Kiana, and Bronya's story are pretty much done from what I can tell. Like they had their character growth and all that. I guess now it's Dila and the others turn to be the main protagonist to some degree. So that's pretty exciting to see. And I guess know that they are giving other characters a chance to shine and for them to grow as well compared to only just focusing on, you know, May and Bronya, assume, assuming that Kiana's gone or whatever. That's my guess, at least. What do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? <laughs> Let me know down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this reaction and want more of this type of content, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!